Good morning, students. Today we begin our first chapter book of the year, and I'm super excited. It is Junie B. Jones in the Stupid Smelly Bus. I loved Junie B. Jones when I was your guys' age, so I hope you guys do too. And on the plus side about being virtual, you don't have to worry about riding the Stupid Smelly Bus. <laughs> Jimmy B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. And if you look inside the book, it has the contents of each of the chapters. And you can see there are 10 chapters in this book. Jimmy B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. Chapter 1 Beaten Misses. My name is Jimmy B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice. Except I don't like Beatrice. I just like the B. That's all. I'm almost six years old. Almost six is when you get into kindergarten. Kindergarten is where you go to meet new friends and not watch TV. My kindergarten is the afternoon kind. Today was my first day of school. I've been to my room before, though. Last week, Mother took me there to meet my teacher. It was called Meet the Teacher Day. My teacher was decor decorating the bulletin board with the letters of the alphabet. I already know all of those letters, I said. I can sing them, except I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> my teacher shook my hand. Only our hands didn't fit together that good. Her name was Mrs. I can't remember the rest of it. Mrs. said I looked cute. I know what I said. That's because I have on my new shoes. I held my foot way high in the air. See how shiny they are? Before I put them on, I licked them. And guess what I said? This is, and this is my bestest hat. Grandpa Miller bought it for me. See the devil horns sticking out of the sides? See, you can see in the photo, that is Mrs. And that is her hat with the devil horns on it. And that is her new shiny shoes. Mrs. laughed. Ha ha ha. Except I don't know why. Devil horns are supposed to be scary. Then we walked around the room, and she showed me where stuff was. Like the E's where we get the paint, and the shelves where the books are, and the tables where we sit and don't watch TV. One of the tables in the front of the room had a red chair. I would like to sit there, I think, I told her. But Mrs. said, we'll have to wait and see, Jeannie. B, I said, call me Jeannie B. I hollered the B part real loud so she won't forget it. People are always forgetting my B. Mother rolled her eyes and looked at the ceiling. I looked up there too, but I didn't see anything. Are you going to ride the bus, Jenny B? Mrs. asked. My shoulders go up and down. I don't know where it's going to. My mother nodded her head and said, yes, she'll be riding the bus. That made me feel really scary inside because I never um, ridden on a bus before. Yeah, only where is, where is it going to, I asked again. Mrs. sat at her desk, and then she and my mom talked more about the bus. I topped on Mrs. Guess what? I still don't know where it's going to. Mrs. smiled and said the bus driver's name was Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu, said my mother. That's an easy name for Jeannie B. to remember. I covered my ears and stamped my foot. Yeah, only where's the stupid smelly bus going to? You see, she's getting really mad and frustrated because she doesn't know where the bus is going to. Mother and Mrs. frowned. Frowning is when your eyebrows look grumpy. Watch yourself, Missy, said my mother. Missy's my name when, I, when I'm in trouble. I looked down at my shoes. They didn't look as shiny as they did before. Just then, another mother and a boy came in, and Mrs. went off to talk to them instead of me. I don't know why, though. The boy was hiding behind his mother and acting very babyish. I could beat that boy up, I think. After that, my, my mother set me down and explained about the bus. She said it's yellow. It's called a school bus, and it stops at the end of my street. Then I get on it and sit down, and it takes me to school. And then your teacher will meet you in the parking lot, some mother. Okay, Jeannie B, wouldn't that be fun? I nodded the word, yes. But, in some, but inside of my head, I would say no. 
Now that is the end of the first chapter. I'm going to be reading a chapter each day in our read alouds this week. And yeah, I can't wait to see what happens when um, GW Jones gets on the bus. <laughs> see you guys later.